part two of this video series, I want to talk about glow plugs. You recall in part one on my series on preparing your diesel for winter driving, I stressed the importance of tuning the engine. Now I realize that glow plugs are probably really a part of tuning, but this is such a big subject that I wanted to cover it in a separate video. And to begin, I want to talk about the basics of glow plug design and operation. I'm always, and I'm going to repeat, always convinced that if for you to troubleshoot a problem properly on a car, you need to understand the theory of operation. How, how the part was made, why it was made, how it performs in the car. Understanding those things, no matter what you're troubleshooting in a car, will help you find problems more quickly. Now I'm going to talk about Mercedes diesel glow plugs in particular, beginning from the early 1950s right up here to the mid-1990s. And during that period, there were only two basic glow plugs that were produced. Number one, you have what was called the series glow plug. These are wired in series, and they have a looped end. And these were used for years, and they're very reliable, but there are some limitations that we'll talk about a little later. Then, in the US production model 300 SD in 1978, Mercedes introduced the pencil glow plug, or the parallel uh, circuit glow plug. And these have been used, these were then used from 1978 all the way up through the 90s on almost all of Mercedes-Benz diesel engines. So let's back up here. I think I'll bring the camera in close and I'll kind of talk about each one of the systems because even though there's only two types of glow plugs, there's a number of different ways that the glow plugs were wired together and a number of different ways that they were controlled during the startup procedure. I'll begin by talking about the early system. This was found on the 170D and the 180D in the early to late 1950s with the OM636 engine. Notice here, this is a resistor. These series glow plugs operate on a lower voltage and there has to be some sort of resistance in the system or they'll burn out. So on these early models, they use this big ballast resistor. And you can see how the, the current came into the ballast resistor, left, went to the plug, and you see it comes into the plug, goes down, comes out, goes over to this plug, goes down to the loop, comes out, and that's what it means by wired in series. Look here, this final wire is a ground wire. That completes the circuit grounded to the engine block. Let's put that one aside, and we'll bring in the next series. Um, pretty much the same as the early series, but notice they have these funny looking wires here. Those are resistor wires, and those were used to replace the ballast resistor. These started showing up in the late 60s in the 220D, they were in the 240D, and early 300D up to 1979. To control these series glow plugs, you could have a pull starter, as you see here, you would pull the starter out to the mid position, light the glow plugs, and then pull it all the way out to engage the starter. Then beginning in the uh, 300D in 1975, they introduced an electronic glow plug timer relay. This showed up in the 115 300D in the US model in 1975, and that's when they started to use just a key to activate the glow plug circuit. Then in 1977, they continued to use uh, a relay. This relay, by the way, is mounted under the dash right at the top of the steering column. Uh, 1977, in the 123 chassis, they introduced a strip fuse that would protect the circuit, and this strip fuse box is located on the firewall. Then in 1978, in the 300 SD model, they introduced the parallel glow plugs and look at the difference in how these are wired. Notice there's only one wire coming into each glow plug. The circuit is completed through the glow plug to ground to light the pencil tip here. So that's why you talk about these being wired in parallel. If any one of these glow plugs burns out in this system, the others will continue to light. And that is one of the key advantages of a parallel or pencil glow plug system. Also, this particular element 
These are operating on a higher voltage. This particular element would heat a lot faster. On those early systems, sometimes you could wait 30 to anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds to get the glow plugs to light. But on these pencil glow plugs, anywhere from 5 to 15 seconds, and you're ready to start the engine. To activate these pencil glow plugs, Mercedes, of course, introduced a new timer relay, which on most models is mounted on the inner fender panel on the driver's side in the engine compartment. When preparing for winter driving, you want to make absolutely sure that your glow plug system is, is operating in tip-top condition. Uh, this is a huge topic. In fact, I've written a large manual on testing, troubleshooting, and trying to diagnose glow plug problems. And, and they can be very troublesome to find sometimes. So if you're really interested in the in-depth details on how to use electrical testing equipment to test your glow plug system, then I would highly recommend this manual here. In this video, I'll just touch on a few things that you could do um, if you're not sure about the condition of your glow plugs. Of course, we carry a full line of glow plugs on our website and glow plug kits. And all of our glow plugs come with seven page instructions, detailed instructions on how to install these yourself. This is not a difficult job. And in following these instructions, you should be able to take out your old glow plugs and replace them in anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half if you've not done this job before. Now you might say, Ken, how do I know if my glow plugs are working okay? Well, without using test equipment, it's kind of hit or miss, but here's a couple clues. Number one, if your engine is starting up and it's missing and running real rough for the first 30 to 60 seconds, it may be an indication that you have one or two glow plugs burned out, particularly if you have these pencil or parallel glow plugs. Remember, if you have a series system, one of those early systems that I showed you earlier in the video, if you burn out one or two plugs, it's not going to start at all. The other indication is, on once again, on these pencil glow plugs, is if you start the engine and the glow plug light flashes a few times after the engine starts, once again, maybe it's running a little rough, that's usually an indication that one or possibly two glow plugs are bad or going bad. Maybe their, their resistance is, is too high and they're not heating properly and you may get that flickering uh, light. But I do want to encourage you, you know, if your glow plugs have been in there for a long time, you don't know the last time they've been changed, I would recommend that you just replace them with brand new uh, glow plugs that we supply. They're high performance glow plugs from Monarch. I've had people say, why should I replace all my glow plugs? You know, I'll just find out which one's bad and I'll just replace one. Well, by the time you take everything off to get to the glow plugs and replace them, particularly on the 601, 602, and 603 engines from the uh, late 80s on, you've got to remove the whole intake manifold to even get to the glow plugs. So why go through all that if you're only going to replace one or two plugs? And from my years of experience of working on these engines, what I found is if one or two plugs have burned out, have failed, it puts extra stress on the other ones, on these pencil uh, parallel systems, and you're probably going to end up having those burn out not too far in the future. So this is one, one area to not be too Dutch, if I could say. Um, there's one other type of glow plug that I didn't mention. I'm going to call it the hy hybrid glow plug. This is a real solution for those of you who have those old, older series glow plug systems up to 1979 is there's actually a glow plug that has been manufactured that produces the pencil element inside the same housing that your original series plugs were housed in. This will allow you to install the faster glow, uh, more efficient plugs in your older engine. There will be some different wiring required and that also is included in our instructions. Now, I'm going to say one more thing that's really important. And if you have any problems with your glow plugs, it may not be the glow plugs themselves. It may be due to excess carbon buildup inside those pre-chambers in the cylinder head. I found that the number one cause of premature glow plug failure on these older diesels is that coking that builds up in those pre-chambers because these are old engines, they're burning a lot of oil. Maybe if it's particularly if you're running on SVO, it can really build up fast in those pre-chambers and it will begin to make contact with the glow plug. The excess coke will, will absorb some of the spray pattern from the injectors that won't be able to properly ignite from the glow plug. And eventually that coke could actually touch the tip of the glow plug causing it to burn out. So we offer 
two reamers. This big one here is for the early series style glow plugs and probably the only one available in the world. We make that here right in our shop along with this special all metal pencil glow plug reamer. So if you don't know whether or not your glow plug pre-chambers have ever been reamed out, this is something you should do before winter because this will really affect the starting sequence, particularly in very, very cold weather. So there's some tips. If you need more information, be sure to go to our website. Uh, just type glow plug or glow plug upgrade or reamer in the search box and it will take you to right to all our parts. We have a complete uh, series of manuals. We even have a manual on how to get those difficult plugs out of the 601, 602 and 603 engines. And then when we launch our new website uh, later this year, a lot of these manuals will be available as PDF downloads. I know how critical it is. Most people need glow plug repair information now. They don't need to order it and wait for three or four days before they get a book on how to fix it. So we're working on that. Hopefully in the future, these will be available as PDF downloads. So I highly recommend if winter's coming your way and it gets cold where you live and you drive an old diesel, that you better take care of your glow plugs so they take care of you.